Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be doing the Barrel Roll Challenge. And the idea is simple. You do a roll with your vehicle, you land it, and then you keep on driving. And using ramps is allowed, so we're going to try to do a roll on that ramp directly ahead of us. The challenge sounds pretty easy. Let's see if it's as easy as it sounds. Here we go, and that is not how you do it. Are we going to land upright somehow, though? Yes, we will. So we get another attempt at this. I see another possibility right here. We just go up this and then launch off the side, and that was awful. We ended up on our roof again. So, maybe a couple of tries will be required for this. I'm sure once I get a feel for it, I'll be able to do it pretty consistently. So here we go, try number two. My main goal here is to make sure that I actually roll over instead of just doing a half roll. There's a roll, and that's a little too much. Oh, we keep rolling, okay, and rolling, and rolling, and rolling, and finally stopped. So we just gotta go in between those two, and then we complete the challenge. Now, of course, this is just the bare minimum for the challenge. We'll, uh, amp it up after this, but we gotta start simple. Can we just do a regular barrel roll and land it? Here we go. Land it. That was an okay landing. How's the car feel? Feels fine. Now let's go ahead and reset this. And now let's make it a little bit more complicated. So right there, all we did was one barrel roll, and that's it. And yes, technically, they're not actually barrel rolls, but let's not get into that now. Let's just call them barrel rolls for the simplicity of the fact that the challenge was called the barrel roll challenge. So anyways, to make this a little bit more difficult, we're gonna try to do two barrel rolls in a row, which should be pretty possible from this location. We have this ramp directly ahead of us, which we can pop off of. And I'm sure I'll be able to find another ramp after we hit this one. So here we go, roll. That's uh, a little bit too much, and that is not even close, actually. It's a different ramp. We gotta approach it a little bit different. So we're gonna go a little slower than last time. We're gonna exit off the ramp a little earlier so we're not as high in the air. All right, there we go. Now we gotta look for the next ramp. I see a few options right here. We're just gonna go straight ahead into this one because it looks like it'd be pretty easy to line this up. And then we pop off of that going about 53 miles per hour. And oh, that was really good. Except for the fact that there was a little barrier right there that ruined everything. Like, if that barrier wasn't there, it would have worked great. Now I could go and remove the barrier, but you know what? Let's try this again. And we'll just line up the roll a little bit differently, so hopefully we don't have to worry about the barrier. I just didn't realize that when we tried that, we would actually hit that. So here we go. We're going a little bit faster and a little bit straighter, so we should land to the left of it. Perfect. And you know what? I see some more ramps, so we could try to do this as a triple barrel roll. <laughs> Except I wasn't ready for this. I don't know how to do this ramp right. Nope, that doesn't. No, not a chance. Okay. I should have approached that ramp the same way I approached this one. They're pretty much the same angle it looks like at the start. So let's give this another shot. Number one. Decent landing. A little bit of a hop at the end. Didn't want that. It wasn't a smooth landing. But we did hit all four wheels on the ground at pretty much the same time on the initial landing. So it's good enough. And then on this next one, we're going to go about 59, 60 miles per hour and land it. That was an okay landing a little bit earlier on the left and the right, but we landed and we still have a functional vehicle as far as I can tell. Yeah, the door open and the tailgate open, but that's it. So we're going about 45 at this thing, and perfect. That was actually probably the best landing out of all of them. A little bit of hop at the back end, but it made it great. Now, is there any other ramps I could do this with? Not really that are convenient. Like, there is that directly ahead of us, but that's not exactly the best angle for this because it's like a harsh transition, isn't it? Yeah, that's a harsh transition, so it kind of bounces your truck anyway, so you wouldn't have been able to do it. And, hey, we're still right side up somehow. I forget we were going to flip over by smacking into the uh, thing right there, but no. Truck is destroyed, though. It's not going anywhere. Here's a quick look at that truck before we reset it. And then, what else could we possibly do? Well, how about we do a crazy trick shot? We're going to do the inverted roll. So we roll halfway, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu over here. Then we go to environment, and we're going to make it negative earth gravity. So this way, I'll land right here, and no. Uh, that's basically the idea, but I gotta figure out those angles a little bit better because we way overshot the landing there. So I'm gonna come in a little bit tighter and maybe a little bit smoother where I'm actually gonna land properly. So here we go. There we go, a little bit tighter, that's looking good. So let's go to negative earth gravity on this thing. And then let's see, will it land? Yes. And then we just drive to the, uh, no. Some people might consider this a success. I don't. I don't. We're going to try this again. I want to get all the way to the end of the ramp before anything terrible happens. And it was so close right there. It almost looked like we got our tires a little bit caught where the uh, flat area meets the angled area. I don't know if that was just an illusion or not. This one, the back end, is a little bit too low, I think. But we're going to try it again. And yeah. Ooh, there. The tire really got grabbed, though. I don't know if you noticed that, but didn't work. So reset it. 
And trying again. I have a good feeling about this, and I feel like I know everything that needs to be done. Here we go. Up the ramp. And freeze it. That is a good angle, it looks like. We're just barely going to clear it. We don't have to worry about accidentally missing. So steer hard. Oh, we did get caught right there in that transition, but look at that. We made it. Now, you could try to do a roll off of this, but it's too high. It would just wreck the car anyway. So I just want to see if we can land it on our feet by kind of doing a flip right here. And close enough. The important thing was is I did the trick shot where we landed on the roof and then continued driving. That was the hard part. I have another idea for a trick shot, but we're going to need a faster car, so we're going to go with an Abishu Pessima Rally version. And then we got to line it up, because this is not the area I'm thinking of. I'm thinking back where we started, where you have those three ramps that were a little bit different height. That's where we're going to want to go, but we want to line up quite a bit of ways, because we need to be going fast for this to work out. So probably right about here should work okay. We'll save the spot, and then here we go. Accelerating up to probably about 100 miles per hour on this one, so it's going to be a 100 mile per hour roll. And I want to try to do it on the smallest ramp, so that way we could do the loop right after. So here we go. No. Not even close. Although we're getting a nice roll going, but not the kind of roll that that was supposed to be. So we'll reset this, and then this time I got to make sure I cut the ramp a little bit farther away from my car, because too much of my car was on the ramp, and it wasn't able to roll. We got to have just about maybe 30-40% of the car on the ramp, probably, for it to work out perfectly. This looks pretty good. Get the roll, get the roll! Ah, just a little bit too little roll, so it ended up tumbling. But it gives me a good idea of where I actually want the car to be on the ramp. I think it just needs to be right on the middle stripe. So you have the middle stripe and there's like two stripes to it. The right middle stripe. If we hit the ramp right there, that should get it to roll properly. And then we just gotta make sure we can go through the loop without crashing. So let's see, can we do it? That looked perfect! Landing nice and smooth. Come on. Hold on car. Hold on. Oh, I can't really see good. This is risky. Yes Yes, we made it. We made it and then we'll go in here and just wreck this thing uh, We're wrecking it right there. I was hoping to get around those ones, but didn't have the traction Just kind of came in an awkward angle. So here's a look at the damage And then we'll reset it for the next trick shot and then for the next one. Let's go really dumb Let's try to use a t-series could you possibly flip a T-Series? I don't know, but probably not with the stock power. So we're going to go ahead and increase the turbocharger to maybe a T-400. It's not the fastest there is, but it gives it a little bit more oomph. So hopefully it'll have enough speed to do a roll properly. I have no idea what kind of ramp we should even use on this thing. And it's going to take a while just to get up to speed. We just now hit 30 miles per hour. And now we hit 40. So it is accelerating though. Now we're at 50. We're going to try it with the ramp on the far right, I guess, because it worked for the pickup truck, so why not the big old truck? And not even close. Not even close. It's kind of weird. The way this one flew, the front really got popped in the air, and then the rear went downward. I guess it's maybe the length of the vehicle, because you would think, but the front's heavier. It would be able to keep itself down, right? But it's just the back end is still on flat surface when the front's already flying off the ramp, so it ends up really tilting it, I think. Hmm, not exactly sure what the solution to this is going to be. We'll try this one more time and see if I can manage to make it not roll so much. We'll go a little bit straighter at it maybe, see if that helps. And that did help, but that's not a landing. It was better, it was definitely better, but it wasn't a good landing. So we're going to try it again. And once again, we got to have a little bit of a weight right here as we get up to speed. This truck is so slow. I'm sitting in my seat shaking, like back and forth, like go, 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 but doesn't matter how much I shake. It's going to be slow anyways. Patience is key. Gives you time to think things over. Like maybe instead of doing this ramp, we'll do a different ramp. Because we can get a little bit more speed if we do the ramp over there probably. Although the angle might not be so good for the ramp itself. Let's see what happens here. Roll it. And that was good. Okay, yes, the drive shaft broke and it can't actually drive anymore. But I think that might be the best you can get with a T-Series because it's just so heavy. When it lands on the ground, it's going to land with so much force, it's going to damage it. Now, let's go even crazier with this thing. Let's add a trailer to it and try to barrel roll a T-Series with a trailer attached. Will this work? Almost definitely no. But we got to give it a shot. We got to give it a shot. We got the T-Series out. You got to try it. So let's go and hook this trailer up. I think that's good. There we go. And away we go accelerating even slower than last time but not by much because the t-series is such a big old torquey engine the extra weight doesn't affect it that much when it's not loaded now if we had the soda in it 
it would be really slowed down, but empty trailer, yeah, it's a, just a bit slower, not that much. So I think last time we were probably at about 47 miles per hour here, maybe 50. Now we're only at 43. It really kind of kills it at the top end, it looks like. Like, I think we were going about 63 when we hit this ramp here. We're only going to be going about 55. So roll it? No. No, 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 no. That was miserable. It's just the, the length of the vehicle does not go well with that ramp, maybe. I think that's what it might have been, because that thing just kind of fell over. It didn't even try to do a roll. It's just like, oh, I'm done, YBR. Blah. It's not what you're supposed to do, man. You're supposed to do something cool and dramatic. I believe in you. I wonder if we need more power. We'll try adding more power after this, and I already got it hooked up and we're already going, so it's too late to do that, but like I said earlier, this is only the T400 turbocharger. We could put the T600 turbocharger on this thing, and that might help a little bit. So getting it up to speed again, and I think we could try a little bit different of a ramp. So if we go nice and straight through here and then cut through at the last second, we could hit that ramp straight to the left. And that might be a little bit better for the truck with the trailer. So let's see what this does. We'll get a little bit of slow-mo on this so you can really watch it and see what it's doing. So there we go. It looks like a uh, pretty good alignment, like right in the middle of the vehicle, which probably works for this thing. And then we fly. Oh, the trailer's still on the ground. Is this thing acting? Whoa, it's going it's to make it. It's going 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 to make it. Come on. This is beautiful. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Nope, it's not going to make it. It's not going to make it. It like it whipped it around when the trailer hit the ramp. But once the whip happened, it kind of just lost its momentum in the air. That was pretty cool though. I think if we did actually add a little bit more power, this could work out. So let's do that. We're gonna just go and um I know I have the mad turbocharger here, but I'm gonna just go with the T600. I think I know what the T600 does, and I think the mad turbocharger isn't much different, it just has a crazy look to it. So lining it up backing it up i'm gonna hit attach right now because i think you can do that i think you can hit attach and then just kind of drive towards it and it'll attach up usually there we go we are attached so away we go and we'll see if we're going any faster or not with the new and improved t600 turbocharged t-series you know we might have also wanted a uh, extra pair of wheels in the back so they're having a not four by four setup because the rear wheels aren't actually or the front wheels aren't actually powered so it'd be a two by six is what they call it i think I don't know, you'd have, no, it'd be a 4x6, because the back four wheels all have drive power, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know, this isn't important right now. Important thing is getting this roll good, so we're going to try to go a little bit more of an angle this time to see if that stops the trailer from, like, jackknifing kind of awkwardly. And it didn't jackknife like last time, but we're not really rolling. We're just kind of flying straight through the air. So again, that was a failed attempt. I don't think this is possible. I mean, I could barely do the T-Series without a trailer. You have the trailer on, it's pretty much hopeless. But, those first things were great. You know, the inverted, the triple, those went great, and then the loop was great. And then I decided, let's go really stupid and try to use the T-Series, and ever since that, nothing's been going according to plan. T-Series is just too big, too heavy, too slow. I'm sure with enough attempts, eventually you can get the T-Series to do a roll and keep driving, considering I did a roll, and it just got damaged. It's a matter of luck getting it to land properly where it doesn't get damaged. You probably want to go a little bit faster and a little less steep of an angle. So we're doing a little different location right here, just trying to swerve in between. And then going to stay straight at it because that seemed to work a little bit better. And that looks pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. So the trailer's going to do that weird thing. And then, oh, it looks like it has force behind it. It has so much rolling force, the trailer is tearing itself apart. And I'll take it. That was close, man. It's just, I don't think you can do it with the trailer. Um, I think that'll do it, though, for this video. Till next time, it's YBR. I'll see ya. Actually, you know what? I decided to have one more go at doing the T-Series without the trailer because I really think this is possible without destroying the driveline. The secret is going to be just go faster. That way, you don't have to fly up into the air. You can kind of fly across the ground. Then when you land, you're not having a 20-foot drop onto the ground. It's only like a 10-foot drop or something like that. So I went way back farther than before, and I put the big T600 turbo on this thing. So here we go. We're going to do that same ramp because it seems like it works good without a trailer. And rolling there. That is beautiful. A little bit of an ugly hop. Pop the tire. Still driving pretty straight. That's awesome. Let's try to do like a little donut right here. And not really because of the pop tire. 
Like, you need both the tires pop to actually do that. Anyways, again, YBR, I'll see ya.